Hey everyone, welcome back to the Awesomer Prop Channel. We know Christmas is over, but we're still in the holiday spirit, so we decided to make some Play-Doh gingerbread cookies. Since we are making gingerbread cookies, let's roll out a large amount of brown Play-Doh. Honestly, you can use whatever color you like, but brown would make it look the most realistic. Now here's a cutout of a gingerbread man, and here's a cutout of a Christmas tree. If you were wondering how much you had to roll out, just make sure you have enough room for these two cutouts to fit. Now let's make our shapes, use this tool. This part should be easy since all we have to do is follow the outlines. It will get tough though if you are using old Play-Doh. Might get really rough around the edges, so use new Play-Doh if you can. There we go. Now let's remove all of this extra dough. Now let's remove the cutouts. Awesome! Here's our gingerbread man and our Christmas tree. Now let's roll out some more brown Play-Doh to make another gingerbread cookie. This time we only need space for one cutout. With this dough, we're going to be making a house. Now let's make our house shape. Give me a minute. Oh yeah, when you guys make gingerbread cookies at home, what shape do you like to make? I'm guessing the classic is a gingerbread man, or woman. Second, I think would be a house, probably? Okay, here's our house. I went ahead and made a twin for our gingerbread man. Now let's use this brush to make the cookie details. These dots will make our cookies look like they've been baked, and they'll also look like nice crispy cookies instead of Play-Doh. There we go. Here's a closer look at our gingerbread man. Okay, our gingerbread cookies look a bit plain, so let's use white Play-Doh to add more stuff to our cookies. Roll this out. We're going to use this as frosting, so let me cut this up. There we go. Now we have a bunch of thin lines. Let me separate all these pieces. We're going to put the frosting all around the edges of each cookie, which is why we need a good amount of white Play-Doh. Now let's just roll this out a bit more using my hand. Make the frosting look rounder. Now let's start with the first gingerbread man. Give me a minute. Awesome! Now let's put a line here to give our gingerbread man some pants. Now let's work on the other gingerbread man. Follow the same steps as before. We'll give this gingerbread man a different attire. There we go. They look so much better, right? Now let's work on the tree. It looks like our Christmas tree has snow all over it. Let's also add snow right in the middle. Perfect! Now let's add the frosting onto our gingerbread house. This house has snow all over it too. Let's make the roof. Add a snowy window. Perfect! Now that we have snowy gingerbread cookies, let's add some more details. Use some more white Play-Doh. Start by making eyes for each gingerbread man. 
Now let's attach the smile. Use this tool to make a nice big smile. There we go. Attach this smile right here. Here's the other smile. Beautiful. Now let's use yellow Play-Doh to give our cookies more color. We can use this as a button for the gingerbread man. These could be ornaments for the tree. And it could also be Christmas lights for the house. Now let's do the same with the red Play-Doh. And we'll also use green Play-Doh. Perfect! Let's start by checking out our twins. Looks pretty real, right? Almost forgot this was Play-Doh. And here's a closer look at our tree and our house. The tree looks beautiful. Which one was your favorite? Hey, hey! Still want something more to watch? You're just in luck. Here's another video. I'm just showing a quick preview, so if you want to watch the full video, click on the link that's in the left corner. Awesome Pop fans! Thank you so much for watching. We can't do this without you. If you're new to the channel and became a fan, click that subscribe button for more awesome stuff. And if you want to be the first person to watch our next video, hit that notification bell to have a chance. See ya!